30 years ago, one of the all-time great films was released, Goodfellas. The Martin Scorsese epic starring Robert De Niro, Joe Pesci, and Ray Liotta. It was a watershed moment for American gangster movies, as well as in Scorsese's career. This week, a new book is out detailing the dramatic making of Goodfellas and why it remains so relevant today. The book is called Made Men, and once again proves that behind the movie, the truth is even better. As far back as I could remember, I always wanted to be a gangster. Why does Goodfellas remain so relevant today? Well, despite the fact that it's about incredibly degenerate people, Goodfellas remains pertinent because it's a fun movie to watch. It's just a real trip. Glenn Kenny is the author of Made Men. The book tells the story of the making of Goodfellas, which sits in the middle of the great gangster trifecta, The Godfather, Goodfellas, and The Sopranos. The shots are incredible. The action is incredible. The acting is unbelievable. There are so many individual scenes that are quotable. Come on, f let's go for a ride. Go f your <laughs> are you being a f wise guy with me? Not on network TV. Not usually on network TV. Look at this genius. This genius. Goodfellas is about Henry Hill, played by Ray Liotta, as he enters the Italian mafia at the peak of its power. I got the most expensive tree they had. Before everything came crashing down. This is a guy who doesn't have much power. He gets by because he doesn't need power. He's not looking for anything more than being a criminal, because he loves it, because you can park anywhere you want. To get the full story, the first source Kenny spoke to was journalist-turned-author and screenwriter Nick Pileggi. It was his best-selling book, Wise Guy, published in 1985, that began it all. Nick Pileggi is, I think, one of the great not just crime writers in America, but just one of the great nonfiction writers in America. Pileggi started as a print reporter in 1956 with the juiciest assignment you could imagine, covering the mob and Jimmy Hoffa's Teamsters. Since I was getting so much crime story and crime stories were so big at the time, this is just a few years before The Godfather, um, I began keeping notes. After decades of shoe leather crime and city hall reporting, in the early 80s, Pileggi was contacted by a former gangster, then in the witness protection program. That would be Henry Hill. My background in the subject was invaluable because it opened him up. It allowed him to take another step. Instead of being instructional to me, he was able to be emotional. Wake up, Henry. Hill wasn't supposed to be talking to anyone, but the true stories he gave Pileggi became the basis for Wise Guy. I felt that I wanted to read about the street guy, not the boss. I wanted, instead of writing a book about Napoleon, I wanted to write a book about somebody in Napoleon's army. There was Jimmy and Tommy and me, and there was Anthony Stabile. How you doing? Wise Guy got the attention of Martin Scorsese. I know I'd go and went up in the big screen as Goodfellas. Pileggi also co-wrote the screenplay. Come on, don't be like that. What do you mean, don't be like that? The violence on screen in, in Goodfellas and in the book is horrific. Was it as bad in real life? Worse. The thing about Scorsese at his best, and he's usually very close to his best, is that he always puts life on the screen. What are you doing? What happened? Oh, no, nothing. What happened I hit, to I hit you? something on the road. Give me a thing. What, what, what happened? That doesn't mean he's a realistic director. He often uses very lurid effects to get there, but you always feel like a pulsing, vivid sense of what the character is going through, and that runs throughout the entire running time of, of Goodfellas. What did you bring? All right, uh, bread. Good. Kenny's book also talks about how some have knocked unconventional editing decisions in the film without a full understanding of the end goal. You talk about some continuity issues in the movie, but you feel the, the filmmakers thought it was more important to get a performance than to have everything look perfect in terms of that continuity. Thelma Schoonmacher, who's been Martin Scorsese's regular editor since 1980, this is an apocryphal quote. You can't actually say it on network television, but she says, matching is for, and it's a synonym with wimps. You want me to be your partner? She believes the emotional quality of the performance and the delivery of the line take precedence over whether or not the cigar is in your mouth or in your hand. What was Martin Scorsese trying to say when he made Goodfellas? Scorsese's relationship to the subject matter of Goodfellas is uh, decidedly different from his relationship to the subject matter of some of his major films prior to that. 
Taxi Driver, the loneliness of Travis Bickle. Raging Bull, the self-destructiveness of Jake LaMotta, the sexual obsession, jealousy. Those were all aspects of Scorsese's own character that were explored in those films. In Goodfellas, there's a little bit more detachment. Goodfellas, beyond marking a moment of transition and triumph for Scorsese, was also the rare case when a great movie matched the quality of a great book. The list of writers who've done a book and then gone on to do a screenplay and yeah. had sort of a seamless transition and been happy with the final product that's on screen is very limited. You know, you know why most writers are not, God bless them, journalists. They did not have to sit in an office correcting their material every day. A, a writer, especially novelists, they live two and three and maybe four years all alone, solitary. They own the novel. If the walls are red, they want those walls red. And they wind up at a movie studio where the owner of the studio doesn't like red. Well, that can become a very emotional thing for them. I think my training as a journalist, you, you had to be cooperative. You had to help. We want to make this damn thing as good as possible. And you know, you might actually have an idea that's better than mine. Tell us, guys, good trip, good life. 30 years after Goodfellas was released, Nick Pelleggi is looking back with pride, but more amusement. I amuse you. I make you laugh. I'm here to amuse you. Honestly, I wish I could have done it all over. I wish I could do it all over again. Because it was fun. He's fantastic. And fun to watch. I mean, I had to rewatch it when I knew it was coming up. I have never seen the movie from the beginning. Michelle Miller. You have to watch this weekend. Yeah. Okay. Requirement. It, it, it's one of those movies that when it's on, you just... <laughs> stay with it. Just, I know. You just, you I don't it. doubt it. I, I don't agree. doubt it. Okay. And the book is really good. Made Men re real, reveals a lot of stuff that I didn't know before.